Hello, and thank you for watching my video post. Today is October 30th, 2013. I'm a hog farmer from southern Minnesota. One of the busiest seasons is fall. Not only do we harvest corn and soybeans, but it's also the season to haul manure. Hauling manure means removing hog waste from cement pits underneath hog barns and applying it to our crop fields. Manure is a very valuable asset for farmers who crop farm. We find it's a great product to replace soil nutrients the crops use during the growing season. As you can see from the video, the hog waste falls between openings on the floor. These are called slats. The waste falls into 8 feet cement pits. So I'm here today to give you a tour of how we haul manure and all it entails. We use three pieces of equipment. The first is an agitator, which actually goes right into the pit to mix the manure. The second is a load stand, which moves the manure from the pit to the manure spreader. And third, of course, is the manure spreader itself. Our manure spreader holds 6,000 gallons of manure, and the pits are large enough to hold one year's worth of manure. What we have here is the actual setup of what we do when we haul manure. The first thing you're going to take a look at is the agitator. Think of the agitator as a big kitchen mixer. It's going in the pit and mixing the solids and the liquids together to create a more consistent form. The agitator is put in what we call pit pump out areas that gives us access to the pits. It then goes up through the load stand, transports the manure into the manure spreader itself. And then you'll take a look at the back of the manure spreader. This is where the manure actually comes out. It's not a glamorous job by any mean, but it's one that's important. It's important because it adds natural fertility back into our soils. But it can lose its importance if farmers don't apply it properly. We don't want too much because it would be wasteful and the soils can't utilize it properly. And too little will not provide enough plant food for next year's crop. What you're seeing right now is a detailed vision of what the back of the manure spreader looks like. The middle tube is where the manure comes down, goes on top of the soil, and then the two discs actually cover the manure. Helps with odor control. And it is important that we have um, accurate applying of the manure. We use soil tests and we use manure tests. And with the results of those, that determines how much manure to put out there. What you're seeing is a flow meter that will give us that accuracy. So with that, I'm going to leave you with the sights and sounds of the manure spreader. And if you've got any comments or questions, please be sure to put that on my blog. Thank you.